In the past, a lost phone can easily be accessed by anyone who found it by wiping out its data. But since Android 5.1, Google has equipped Android phones with Factory Reset Protection, or FRP, making them inaccessible to those who don't have the password or the Google account synced in the device. But what if it's your phone that you're trying to unlock, and you've totally forgotten your email and password? This is where FRP Bypass comes in handy. In this video, you will learn two ways to bypass FRP and access your phone if you forgot your Google account details. Are you ready? Let's now dive into the first method. Here, you'll only need your smartphone and a stable Wi-Fi connection. To begin, connect your phone to a stable Wi-Fi network. Make sure to choose the Google Keyboard layout. On the sign-in page, tap the email field and tap the at button on the keyboard. Tap on the Google Keyboard setting on the dialog box that will appear. Then tap the three dots in the top right corner to open options. Then select Help and Feedback. Next, tap Search Google and Send Result from your keyboard. The page will display a guide on how to do this, which you can disregard. Tap on any word from the guide. The device is going to highlight the word in blue. Once highlighted, tap Web Search in the top right corner. On the dialog box, tap Google App. This will pull up results from the web for the word you have just Googled. Tap the search bar and search for setting. This will display the system setting icon on the screen. Lastly, select the system settings icon, then tap backup and reset. Then, factory data reset. This will prompt resetting the device to factory settings. Once the reset is complete, you will see the welcome page of the device. Connect to your Wi-Fi network. You'll know you've successfully FRP bypassed your phone if you see the option to skip entering your email ID and password. Not successful? Don't worry, we'll now show you the alternative method you can try. It's also quick and easy. This one is possible on a Samsung Galaxy phone, provided that you have a USB cable for it and an Android unlocker program such as PassFab installed. So get your gadget and cable ready and make sure to download PassFab from the link in the description. While waiting for PassFab to install, connect your phone to your computer. Once downloaded, launch the program, then select Remove Google Lock, or FRP. Select your phone's Android OS version. If you aren't sure, click on Don't Know the Device OS version. Check the on-screen notes and confirm, then select Start. If your device's OS version is older than Android 11, Simply follow the on-screen instructions to bypass FRP. Then restart your device to finish the process. If you're on Android 11 or 12, tap View on your phone. Then follow the on-screen instructions to go to the Samsung Galaxy Store. On the set Android versions, you will then be asked to get the Alliance Shield app. Once installed, launch Alliance Shield and register a new account. Enter your device's model and tap Next. Follow the on-screen steps to enable device admin and Knox. Navigate to App Manager and search for Service Mode. Enable Service Mode, then check MTP plus ADB and allow debugging on your phone. Remove and reinsert the USB cable to your phone. Wait for PassFab Android Unlocker to finish removing FRP lock. And that's it! You've successfully bypassed FRP on your phone. All you have to do now is factory reset your device to complete the process. Did you find this guide helpful? If you did, make sure to like this video and share it with your friends who might also need it. What other how-to guides do you wish to see on this channel? Let us know in the comments!